Ecter Esther 2. After these things, when the wrath of King Ahaz Vorosh was appeased, he remembered Eth Vashti, and Eth what she had done, and Eth what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king, and let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom, that they may gather together eth all the fair young virgins unto Shushan, the palace, to the house of the women, unto the custody of Higai, the king's chamberlain, garter of the women, and let their things for purification be given them. And let the maiden which pleases the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan, the palace, there was a certain, rather certain, Yahudi, whose name was Mordecai, the son of Yair, the son of Shemi, the son of Kish, a bin Yami Ini, who had been carried away from Yarushalayim, with the captivity which had been carried away with Yakon Yahu, king of Yahuda, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, had carried away. And he brought up Eth Haracha, that is, Ekter, his uncle's daughter. For she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. So it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, to the custody of Hegai, that Ekter was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Hegai, garter of the women. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave her eth her things for purification, with eth such things as belonged to her, and eth seven maidens, which were meet to be given her out of the king's house. And he preferred her and eth her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Ecter had not showed eth her people nor eth her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house to know eth how Ecter did and what should become of her. Now, when every maid's turn was come to go in to King Achaz Varosh, rather Achash Varosh, after that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of the women, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king, eth whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women to the custody of Shah Ashgaz, the king's chamberlain, which did guard the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now, when the turn of Ecter, the daughter of Avi Ha'il, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, 
was come nigh to go in unto the king. She required nothing at F but what king rather nothing F but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the garter of the women, appointed. And Ecter obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. So Ecter was taken unto King Achazverosh into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Teveth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Eth Ecter above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants, hath even Ecter's feast, and he made a release to the provinces and gave gifts according to the state of the king. And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat in the king's gate. Ecter had not yet showed her kindred, nor eth her people, as Mordecai had charged her. For Ecter did eth the commandment of Mordecai, like as when she was brought up with him. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlains, Bikthan and Teresh, of those which guarded the door, were wroth, and sought to lay hand on the king, Achesh Varosh. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Ecter the queen, and Ecter certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore they were both hanged on a tree. And it was written in the Sefer of the Chronicles before the king. <laughs>